my dear esteemed listeners you are welcome to the hour of life transformation i believe that god is doing something great in your life wherever you are under the sound of this great voice i want you to open up to the holy spirit open up for the lord has prepared a word for us today before we go ahead shall we pray Father, thank you for your word. Bless my dear listeners. That man that is sick, I command you to receive your healing right now. Every strong man over your life, every distraction, I destroy it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release you from every stronghold of the enemy. And I pray that the word of God will have an effect in our lives. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My dear, we started sometimes by talking about the prisoners of hope. And today's message continues in that series, The Prisoners of Hope. And last time I told you that is you that God is looking at. You are the person that God wants to set free. God doesn't want you to remain a prisoner. God wants to give you freedom. For the scripture says, if the Son shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. Yes, God is looking at you. The enemy has decided to put you under bondage. That is why you are doing what you are doing without understanding it. But if you can listen to this message and you allow this message to go down into your life and you apply it, you will see transformation to your life. Yes. Number two, we said that the blood of covenant is the power of restoration. For if you can be set free, if you can be restored, if you can be made whole, you must queue in into the blood of covenant. For God said that this blood of covenant has a power to set the captives free, and has a power to make you whole, has a power to heal you, has a power to deliver you. Therefore, today we go ahead in that scripture. And he said, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit wherein is no water. Child, the prisoners of hope, season two. You see, this prisoner is not only that he is a prisoner, he is in a pit, a waterless pit, a dungeon. Where there is no water. A prisoner. He is under the chain of the devil. He is, he is a prisoner yet without water. Water is a source of life. Water resembles life. Without water, no man can live. The whole planet is filled with water. 90% of the earth is water. This man is a prisoner. He is a, in a pit. In that pit, there is no water. I don't know where you have found yourself. I don't know the situation you found yourself. Somebody has caged your family. Somebody has caged your business. Somebody has caged you. And you are in a pit of the enemy. The pit of sin. In that pit of sin, there is no water. Jesus says, I am the water of life. I am the water of life. If one is in a pit and there is water in that pit, that person can exist. That person can live. Because he can bath, he can drink, he can do anything with that water. His life can be sustained for days. 
but in a waterless pit, in a dry pit, a dry business, a dry ministry. You are in a dry family. You married in a dry family. You married in a place, a waterless family, a dry family, a dry business, a dry home. Your home is so dry that you fear to come back home. After having done your business throughout the day, you cannot come back to your home because your home is dry. I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is here today to give you water. He is here today to release you and bring you out of that pit. Any pit you are in, any pit you are struggling in, I command you to come out of that pit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of that pit. My dear brother, come out of that pit right now. I command your head to come out of that pit. I command your family to come out of that pit. I command your business to come out of that pit. I command your ministry to come out of that pit. I command your destiny to come out of that pit. Come out of that pit. Come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will release you right now from the pit of the enemy. You can no more remain a prisoner. For there is hope of restoration. For Jesus Christ has come to give you hope. He is the hope for the hopeless. You can't remain in that pit. Don't allow yourself. Don't allow yourself to remain in that pit. The Bible said that Joseph was thrown into a pit. Into a pit. He was a prisoner. He was under a chain. Under the cage of his brethren. And he was put into a, into a pit. And in that pit, the Bible says, and Joseph cried. My dear, it is a time to cry unto God. It is a time to ask God for mercy. Don't be silent in that pit. Don't be silent in that pit. If you want hope, if you want to come out of it, you need to cry unto God. Yes. Cry. God wants to hear your voice. You have been silent for a long time. You have suffered that for a long time. But today, today, right now, at the sound of my voice, as you are listening, as you are watching, you are coming out of that pit now. I see you coming out of that pit. Enough is enough for the devil. A waterless pit is not for you. In this season, in this time, in this year, that's you can't be in that pit. You can't be in a dry pit. Glory be to God that Joseph was brought out of that pit. From that pit, he entered into a car, into a in, into an us that took him, that took him to Egypt. My dear. Your greatness is coming your way now. The Lord is visiting you right now. You will not die in that pit. You will not die in the pit of hopelessness. You will not die in that pit of fear. You will not die in that pit of regret. You will not die in that pit of shame. You will not die in that pit. For there is hope in Christ Jesus Christ. Yes. There is hope. There is hope. That hope is an internal hope. Any man that has that hope has internal life. Yes. Are you in the pit of death? You can come out of that pit right now. You can come out of that pit. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Come out of that pit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whosoever that has thrown you into a pit. I command that person to fall into that pit. Whosoever that has thrown your family into that pit, that witch, that wizard, that occult man, that occult, yes, that has thrown you into a pit of regret, where you are looking for money, where you are going for your business, and see you inside the pit. You didn't even know when you entered into the pit. You see yourself all the days of your life, Moving around that pit. Pit. After the, the, the business of the day, there is no money. There is nothing to show about it. There is no evidence. You have been in the church for a long year, for years. 
but there is no evidence. You are in a pit. I want, I want to pray for you. Can you lay your hand on your head? Let me pray for you. Can you say after me, the Lord Jesus Christ, every pit I found myself, this moment, in the name of Jesus Christ, I am coming out of it. I am coming out of it. I am coming out of it. Every bit of darkness, every bit of the enemy, every bit of sin, I am coming out of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I give you my life. I give you my soul. I give you my spirit. I will be your son. I will be your servant. I will no more remain in the pit of my enemies. Thank you, Father, for I believe you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to talk to somebody right now. You are there listening to me. Jesus Christ is coming very soon. And every man that is in the pit of sin can never make heaven. No matter how far you have gone in the church, no matter your portfolio, Yes, as we welcome Jesus Christ, you are coming out of the pit of sin. And holiness and righteousness shall overflow in your life. And your names are cancelled in the book of death and written in the book of life. Thank you for listening to this great message. See you same time next week. May God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.